This is a super easy tutorial on how to install Asahi Linux on your M series MacBook. All right, so first we just paste in the link from the Asahi website. We put in our password, read a little bit, we click enter to continue. And then after that, we just resize our partition. And then from here, it's gonna ask you what is the partition size that you want? I chose 70%, which means 70% goes to the MacBook and 30% goes to Linux. Ask you to continue and then press enter to continue as well. From there, you just press F and then it chooses what OS and what desktop environment you want to install. So I just chose KDE. From there, it just asks the OS size and it asks what OS name it wants. I put Fedora because it is Fedora. Wait a bit more. <laughs> Enter your password again. You wait a bit more. And then it's gonna ask if you wanna count your install and what type of information it gets. I just wanna look at it and I clicked yes. After this, we get the important steps to follow. And if you don't follow these steps, you will render your Mac useless. So please be aware and please read it. So just click enter to continue, shuts off. You wait 25 seconds, you start it back up, you hold the power button until you see these startup options. Wow, that's a long time. Either way, then you just click on Fedora um, and continue. After this, you choose Macintosh HD. I have Nix on my MacBook, so that's why I have two, but you just usually see your the Macintosh and then, you know, kind of enter your account password. You enter your password again. After that, just asking if you're sure you want to do this. Obviously, yes. Enter your username for your Mac. So that would be whatever name you have. And then after that, you put your password that you have on your Mac. Um, then the installation is complete. You press enter to continue, it reboots up, and boom, you have Asahi Linux on your MacBook. It's kind of crazy, insane. Let's wait a little bit. Yeah, so once you're in, it just takes you over like the Fedora setup install, chooses what time zone you're in. Then you choose your keyboard layout. Then you actually make your user and the password that you want to use for that user. Click next. Make sure everything is okay, and after that, you're all done. And it launches you into whatever desktop environment, mine is KDE. And then you just log in and boom, you're there. Obviously, it's gonna take you through the desktop environment setup if you chose one. So here in KDE, I'm just going through it. In GNOME, it also has the GNOME tour, or GNOME tour. My bad, guys. Please don't end me. <laughs> and yeah, after that, you just have it all set up.